I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The House Public Safety Committee heard public testimony on a gross second substitute Senate Bill 5036, which would allow early release of incarcerated individuals back into their communities. The bill passed the Senate 2721 on March 1st and would have to pass the House in order to make it to the governor's office to be signed into law. Thank you, Senator uh, Dingra. <clears throat> so if I'm hearing you correctly, when, when you were mentioning that this particular bill has support from WAPA, WAPA, you know, as far as prosecuting attorneys go, they represent the interest of the state. Prosecutors represent the interest of the state. And the NAACP, you say that you have support from, and in this particular instance, would represent the interest of the convicted. It's going to be difficult to talk about a history of institutional racism in our criminal justice system in 90 seconds. But let me remind this body that over the last 40 years, from truth and sentence to the tough on crime and all the different laws that locked up so many of our communities up. And I just want to correct uh, Representative Graham for one second. The NWCP, we don't represent the convicted. We represent the community that's been impacted by incarceration. The NAACP obviously supports this bill and as a former president of the Spokane branch and executive director for Revised Center for Returning Citizens, and I did the time, I obviously do as well. So some real talk uh, uh, in, in that I must tell you that I believe that this is a needed step in the right direction, that this bill and those like this move much needed change further down the court and then doing sort of the radical harms and racial impacts of our criminal justice system. This question is for um, Mr. Robinson. So you have made the statement that any no vote on this issue automatically qualifies somebody as racist or not supportive of individuals, car incarcerated individuals being able to get out and resume their lives. Is that meant to be intimidation? Uh, no, not at all, ma'am. It's meant to be truth because any real talk about the criminal justice system, any real examination has absolutely shown uh, uh, un unequivocally that the criminal justice system is disproportionately harms communities of color. My name is Jenny Parham and prior to COVID, I sponsored inside the prisons for several education and restorative justice classes. I was eyewitness to the rehabilitation and incredible transformation of many incarcerated individuals. I also have a son who has been incarcerated for over two decades. In the late 90s, my son was sentenced to a de facto life sentence of 96 years for a crime he committed when he was a week past his 18th birthday. Each year, new ways to release offenders early are proposed. This appears to be the solution to address the prison population and the cost of incarceration. This bill equates to mass release of offenders. There is no truth to sentencing. It's also signed in opposed to this bill. I want to be uh, completely transparent. This is simply not a proposal that our association can get behind um, for, for a number of reasons uh, that I won't uh, go into here. I do want to acknowledge that of all of the proposals along these lines, this is frankly the most responsible that we've seen. And we think that credit is due uh, in that regard. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News, covering the 2021 legislative session.